What's up guys, Boombox Studios here. So lately, I got these three netbooks and I want to test their boot times. They all have Windows 7 Professional on them and I'm about to do a boot test. I have my timer right here and Dexter's cheering the HP on because I think this one will be the fastest booter. Anyway, three, two, one. All right, they're all going. Also, Acer Spire 1, HP, and EPC. Oh, that one has like a weird thing that goes on with it. Okay, so they're all... Oh, this one's still on the uh, Windows 7 logon. And these are all low, ultra low-cost machines, so that's why they show the Windows Vista one, because they don't have enough power to show the uh, full one. Oh! HP's booted. I'm counting when the sound happens. That's when it boots. EPC. Has it? There it goes. Oh, the Acer. Oh, that was... Oh, man. All right, so the Acer took like 51 seconds to boot. And I'll probably show the times of all of them booting right here, right now, right at the bottom. Um, oh man, the only reason I can think that is because this one is an Atom, like an older Atom, and these all have the newer Atom stickers, but I don't know if that'll actually change their processor. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is doing the, uh, the Windows Experience Index test. Oh. Alright, so they should all be doing their thing now. Yep. I'll probably, I'll put this on time lapse. Also, I forgot to say, that I just thought another reason that the Acer might have gone slower is because it doesn't have a battery in it. And I know if you don't have a battery in a computer, it pulls down the CPU performance. So that might be another reason why the Acer was slower. Anyway, back to the time lapse. Also, I just wanted to say RIP to the only remains of the other EPC that I had, but I, I had four, but I had to merge the two EPCs because they both had problems, but not the same problems. So I merged the two and um, now I have this EPC and I just want to say goodbye and farewell to that EPC because, uh, well, he gave us this EPC. Um, but this is the the only remains I have of that EPC. So, yeah, the RIP EPC. Um, yeah. It just, I don't even know, it just crashed. The, the, e, the no, the EPC crashed. It actually completely turned off. Oh no! Oh wow! So um, yeah, uh, this is a very the EPCs are very low cost computers, but I didn't expect it to crash on the assessment. <laughs> like, oh dang! I'll try again, but oh. Poor EPC. Dang, I didn't expect that. It's plugged in too, I don't understand. Oops. All right, back to the time lapse. All right, so let me take my phone out of my Oops, tripod. And so the the EPC's performance is dead. The HP's is two. That's not too bad. Pretty good. And whoa, the Acer got 2.1 higher than the HP. All right, so maybe the Acer is better. Dexter's being very loud. Say hi. Oh, and now he's quiet. Um, yeah, EPC, I tried to salvage the parts, but they're still not amazing computers, so it has 
trouble running. As you can see, it can't even do the performance test without overheating. Anyway, that's pretty great. That's a good score. And um, I do need to apply, as you can see, this one has flowers because this is actually really cool. It's a limited edition HP, if you can see. It's the whatever flower one they made. I know they did special runs of, like, flowery ones and stuff. This one is not special. The EPC is not special, nor was the other one. But the, oops, the HP is special. Look at this thing. And it's, like, really good condition. That's my favorite sound theme. Um, and they all connect to Wi-Fi. Um, this, I don't know, I don't know. I tried to restore the EPC, but... They're really hard machines to restore and fix because of how cramped their parts are and how well, really just unreliable they are because, as you can see, it just crashed during the, the, the performance test. Um, it's like the bare minimum, minimum, minimum of, like, Cinebench, and it, and it couldn't even do it. And it's not even like Cinebench because it's not really fully testing stuff. Anyway, the HP does have this, like, old school, well, not old school, but, like, netbook type trackpad where the buttons are on that side that's fine I, you can also like tap to click which is cool it's got shiny keys too i like that and the power button is a switch as you saw when i turned it on that's pretty cool tiny hp logo right there it's a bright light too it's actually really bright i never realized how bright it was it's got a wi-fi switch too not exactly sure what that does and just turn it off. Yeah, it's, a, it's actually a really nice machine, especially for Windows 7, which is made for starter. But as you can see, it can run perfectly fine on professional with Arrow. And this one was made for XP, but I put a 7 starter because... Does this have a 7 starter on it? No, it doesn't have anything. Um, but all these were made for 7 starter. Well, this one was actually made for XP, but I took the bottom from the other case, the other EPC I had. But it, so it was a seven starter. So technically it's a seven starter. It's the same motherboard. You could just choose XP seven starter or Linux. I think Linux was an option, but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little, uh, setting up video. Oh, right. I need to install the desktop background. Cause as you saw, this had flowers, this had, this had flowers that had flowers too, but this just has the arrow one. So let me get my little pink USB key that I got this actually in Canada. Um, I think I made a video there, like, one or two, but I, I went on a trip uh, to Canada in, like, 2018, uh, 19, I can't remember, but I bought that there. Me and my dad went everywhere to find this, so I could install Windows XP onto it, but my not full tech brain yet, and I'm still not full tech brain, um, tried to install Windows XP on the same USB key and partition that it was installing from, which was the USB. I put the installer on here and tried to install it onto the installer. So it just really didn't work out. And I ended up, well, I ended up killing my computer and I use Windows XP mainly, like for my main OS, which I don't know why I did that. I just like it a lot, but um, I killed my computer and I lost all the files, but that's a story for another day. Anyway, I found it wrapped up in a piece of paper, which is funny, which is pretty cool. Um, because I lost it when we came back. Scan and fix. Start. I always do this scan thing, and then it says, scan, yeah, no problems. So I don't know why it does that, but... There we go. I think I have the Acer wallpaper for this laptop on here. Yeah, this is actually a really nice trackpad. It is small, but it's nice. Uh, open folder. Acer... Yep, there it is. There we go. Nice. And let me set a theme so it doesn't lose the wallpaper. And my favorite sound theme for uh, 7 is, uh, and I like it completely clear, my favorite sound theme for 7 is, where is it? Delta. It's really good. I, I love the sound theme. Delta. It's really good good. Put your screensaver. Let's do 
Mystify, which is like Flurry from Windows, uh, Mac OS ish. It's kind of like that. And save theme as Aspire One, because that's the name of this laptop. And now here's the Delta theme if you've never heard it. Wait for it. Oh yeah, I forgot how crummy the speaker was. That's the loudest it goes. Oh wait, no it isn't. Oh, it gets a little louder. Okay, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little video I made. Check that. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.